Hello there, and welcome to episode 26 of Space Engineers. And something amazing has happened. You're probably thinking to yourself, what has happened? Have they released multiplayer? What's going on? Well, not multiplayer, but now small ship weaponry has been activated. So, let's have some fun and let us do us some testing. So we've got two targets, we're going to try some machine guns, and we're going to try some rockets, and then we're just going to have a general mess around and see how much we can enjoy these sort of machine guns themselves. So the first sort of test, and something you're probably asking about, is do you have recoil, and does it affect you inertia-wise? So we're going to turn off our inertia dampeners with a Z, and we're going to try out the machine gun first. Yes, so it does affect you with inertia. We're going to try the rocket out first stabilize ourselves and then we're going to try the rocket itself out so let's try that out so a three and then a fire so the rocket has slightly less inertia but still the rocket has range i'll show you again it has a limited range so this is pretty interesting because it means that you can't be engaging people from absolutely kilometers out so let's actually try the damage on each of them targets so we have a few of them. First, we're going to need our dampeners on, though. And we're going to try our rockets on the ones up at the top, and we're going to try the machine gun at the ones on the bottom. So let's try this out. I've got a feeling they might have a similar result to warheads, but I'm not too sure. So let's align the combat badger up. So we're just going to align ourselves nicely, and we're going to test these out. I've got some more fancier ships, but I just wanted one missile and one machine gun to actually test them out. So let's fire. <laughs> Did you hear that behind me? That sounded like something ricocheted, like there was something else. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's try out two blocks of light armor. There seems to be like, did you guys all hear that? It seems to be a ricochet of like um, shrapnel or something bouncing against the ship behind me. So I wonder if that'll be deadly when its survival comes out. So here we go again. Okay, so basically it stopped at three layers of armor, so it is weaker than the warhead. So we'll test it out on four just to make sure that wasn't actually a mistake or there was a bug in that one. So four layers of armor. Yep, stops it there. And finally, the five layers of armor. Right, so you can see there, five layers stops it. It looks like three layers is where it'll be stopped. So three layers of your hull will stop a missile from a small ship. Now the machine gun. I always thought this would only be useful or effective against, how to say, like light sort of aircraft that I'll show you shortly. But here we go. We'll try it on a big heavy block. So it's pretty much doing no damage at all to the heavy block. It's doing very little, and I guess if you kept it on for a while, that you could probably get through. But let's actually quickly test that out on a small ship. So I'm just going to quickly get in my awesome cannon of death and actually try it out. So this is based on like a Vulcan minigun sort of cannon sort of thing. So we've got loads of actual ones. We've got five each arm. And we'll get in and test that out. So, we want to talk about preparing an old ship or a new ship to accept rockets and machine guns. So the first thing you want to do, unless you want to run into a major problem, is put them on the right way around. So as you can see here, someone's put them on the wrong way around, being myself. So we need to put them on the right way. So the second problem we've run into now is putting them on the right way, is clearance. When these rockets launch, they basically appear out the end, and anything that, that is above them or around them will impact on the rocket. So our rockets won't actually work if they place like this. So we're going to have to extend this out or put them elsewhere. And for the purpose of this ship, I'm going to put them elsewhere. So let's have a look for a good place that will not affect the rocket's trajectory or anything. We can't have this either. I'll demonstrate another situation that some people might try to do. Is put two rockets close together, like so. This doesn't work either, because when you fire one, the other one detonates. 
So let's try putting our rocket pods, for instance, on here. That might work. Or we could have them maybe in here. This could work as well. This looks pretty cool, actually. Let's stick one there, and we'll stick one there like so. So they will work very well. And we've got the machine gun there. The machine gun doesn't have really too much to bother about because it's just firing bullets and it goes quite a narrow, sort of tight spread. And somewhere else we could also put them is possibly under here. But then the thing we've got to take into consideration there is when that fires, will it be able to clear this area or not? But we'll soon find out. So both our rocket pods on now. We have four in total. And now it's time to test it out. So we're testing the machine guns first. Working fine. And now we've outfitted it with the new rockets. Will it work? There we go. We've got four rockets in key positions. And now we're ready to attack something. So let's have a go on this big ship here. So let's check the range. Let's see if we're in range now by firing something. So was that an impact or did that explode before? So as you can see, it impacted and exploded before, not actually damaging the ship at all. So let's go in to engage it a bit closer. So we should be in about range now. I don't know how far it is, but four rockets devastation is absolutely immense. But as you can see again, it's blown up before impact. So the actual range of these things is not as good as you may first have thought. So let's actually get a bit of a machine gun out and do some backwards firing while we're firing a rocket. I'm missing. So there we go. The rockets are very nice. It does look pretty cool. We've got like a slight missile trail as well. So let's move down. Let's try it on some of our special sorts of armor. We've got just ahead of us the reactive armor. So this is an extremely easy way of attacking a ship. These big ships that you're going to be flying around with are going to be extremely weak. As you can see, we broke into the hull there with just eight shots. Right, so let's try out our reactive armor, see if that can do any better. Well, not reactive armor, this is our fence sort of armor, isn't it? We fire that. Right, I think I've got a better feeling about this, but from that image, it doesn't look like I should have a better feeling, to be honest. So let's get a little bit closer and see what we can do. So my fingers crossed that it's only crumpled the outer top layer because if it has, then it's had the same impact as the actual metal fencing themselves. So let's actually have a look at this. The fencing around it's disappeared and it's actually impacted all three layers. So this is not actually affected. It. Ah, now this is something pretty interesting. It looks like since some of the rockets are impacting before, they're destroying the fence. So, I don't think anything's going to be really that safe anymore. To be honest. We've got some targets here. So we're just going to have a quick minigun session with them. Oh, God, that is so... It is so amazing, guys. You, you don't have to refit all your ships and sort them out so you don't go blowing yourself up. But it is pretty cool. Right. So that wraps about up the new patch. There is a few other things on the way. I do apologise for the last few absences from the last few days. Obviously, I've been away, been with friends and family. So videos will be resuming back as normal. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.